Making our hot patches out of silicone tubing is very difficult to get it right. But check this out. I found a company that makes a little tool that makes it perfect. So after I ordered the R-Hop tool, this is the little box I got in the mail. So let's crack this little box open and see what we get in it. All right, it comes in a little bubble wrap and inside the bubble wrap. So we get the cutting tool, we get the gluing vise, we get the length cutters, we get a little bit of length of tube so we can make our first R-Hop patch and a razor blade. And we get this, this little brown piece of adhesive rubber on the back. Not really sure what it's used for. It's not mentioned in the instructions. So as a bonus, it does come wrapped in bubble wrap. So to use these tools, it's actually very simple, but there is a tea tiny bit of math involved. So my camera crew just informed me it's not a tea tiny bit of math. It's fairly complicated, but I'll be honest with you, I have a degree in electronic engineering. I've had a lot of math. To me, it's really easy. Let me walk you through it. So the tool setting for this, there's a little bit of math involved. It is the barrel outside diameter minus the barrel inside diameter divided by two plus the barrel inside diameter minus the window height plus 0.03. So let me show you how you get all those measurements. So if you're comfortable with the math and you don't want to go through me doing the formula with you, down in the description, I have a whole list of chapters. Just click on the chapter that you want to go to and you can jump around through this video. So to do the measurements I have on this barrel, I have this little bitty digital micrometer here. You can also get them in analog. They're a little bit harder to read, but I'll tell you where to get one for really cheap. So we need to make three measurements on the barrel. The barrel outside diameter, the inside diameter, and the window height. So to measure the outside diameter of the barrel, you just take your micrometer and just literally slide it on the outside of the barrel. And the measurement I got is 8.46. So to measure the barrel inside diameter, don't do it on the side of the window, do it on the other side. And this micrometer has outside jaws and inside jaws. You wanna use the inside jaws, just place them inside the barrel and open the thing up. And the measurement I got is 5.91. Now, now the window height is a little bit more complicated, but you see the little window I have here on my AEG barrel? You wanna measure from the bottom of the barrel to the bottom of the window. And the measurement I got on that is 6.81. All right, my dudes, let's go over the math slowly, okay? So the first part of the equation is take the barrel outside diameter minus the barrel inside diameter and divide it by two. So that's 8.46 minus 5.91 divided by two is equal to 1.275. So the second part of the equation is to take that 1.275 and add the barrel's inside diameter. So we have 1.275 plus 5.91 is equal to 7.185. So now we take that value, 7.185, we subtract the window height and then add 0 0.03. So we take 7.185 minus 6.81 plus 0 0.03 and the answer is 0 0.405. Now the instructions say we round to the nearest tenth of a millimeter, which is 0 0.40. So that's the setting for the height tool. Now I've done this like four or five times and every time I get slightly different measurements on this barrel, but it's okay because the final value, 0 0.4, has been the same every time I've done it. So to cut our patch, the first thing we're gonna need is the height tool. The first step is to tighten it up just a little bit so that it moves kind of hard. So if you look on the top of the tool, you'll see there's a bunch of little notches across the top. Each knot indicates 0.2 millimeters. I got a reading of 0.4, so I'm going to adjust this to the second notch, and then I'm going to tighten it down securely. In the package, they give you this razor blade and it fits on the back of this height cutting tool. There's a couple magnets back here and it sits on the top. Now what I'm gonna do is take a little bit of this silicone grease and then I'm gonna coat it on either side of the razor blade using my finger. I tell you what, be very careful because this razor blade is really sharp and that's not something you wanna prick your finger on. And then we're gonna take our razor blade and we're just gonna slide it in place here on the back of our height cutting tool. Next step, put just a little sheen of the silicone grease, oil, or WD-40, whatever, whatever you're gonna use on the outside of the tube that you're gonna use for your patch. And the reason you wanna do that is so it slides really easily into the tool. So the next step is we wanna take our tubing and we wanna slide it into 
the height cutter, gently push it. It should be fairly easy if you greased it up with a little bit of that silicone oil, WD-40, or silicone grease. Now, piece of advice here, go very, very slowly while you're cutting this tube into the tube height tool. If you don't, you're gonna mess it up and you'll end up with a triangle instead of a really decent patch. And when you're done cutting your tube, you can pull it out and you can see that it has the length cut out. Now, according to the instructions, you should cut about 10 millimeters, which is just about half an inch. That's all you're gonna need. You're done with the tool height cutting tool. Just take out your razor blade. Next, we're gonna cut the length. Your razor blade and cut that little piece of patch off. Because we wanna take this little bitty length cutting tool and slide your patch into it. If you'll notice on your length cutting tool, there's a couple little notches here. That's for the razor blade to slide in and you wanna cut your patch on both sides. Go really slow, go really even, and you'll end up with a perfect patch. So you'll notice I've been using a little bit of silicone grease on this patch and on the barrel and everything else around me. So what I did was I went out and washed my hands really good. And I'm gonna take this little alcohol pad right here and I'm really gonna clean off this patch that I just made and the barrel. So to glue the patch in place, we're gonna need a couple things. I have a six millimeter outside diameter tubing that fits perfectly on the inside of my barrel. I also have a tube of super glue and I have this little uh, toothpick here. We're gonna use the toothpick to put the glue onto the window. So I got my vise apart, but I'm gonna be using super glue to adhere my patch inside my barrel. I'm afraid the super glue is gonna leak a little bit in here and glue my barrel permanently into this or glue my vise down shut. So what I'm gonna do is coat the inside of it with a little bit of that silicone grease. Something else I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this six millimeter outside diameter tubing and slide it into my barrel. But there's also a possibility that super glue is gonna leak and this is gonna be permanently adhered to the inside of my barrel. So I'm gonna coat this with a little bit of silicone grease also. Here's where the rubber meets the road. So I'm just gonna take a big wad of this super glue here that you can see, put it here on this little toothpick and just slide a little bit of it on this window. Try to keep it on the outside of the window. You don't want it in the window. Then I'm gonna take this patch, slide this patch in place now let's put our tube that has a little bit of that silicone grease on it slide it into the barrel and now you'll notice that our gluing vise it has a little detent in here your window that has your patch on it goes into that window like so and then we just slide the gluing vise together and then tighten it down I got the tubing inside the barrel. It's all set into the vise. The patch is all glued into place and the vise is glued down. Uh, so next thing, I'm just gonna let this dry for about an hour and I'm gonna clean up this big mess of super glue that is all over my desk. So the glue should be set in our barrel. So let's take off the gluing vise and see what we got. So we have the barrel out of the vise and you notice the patch is sticking up a little bit above the barrel. Actually, we wanna see that. And what we want is inside the barrel, we want it to be completely flush and it is. So our next step is to take a little bit of sandpaper and just sand this down so it's flush with the top of the barrel. The person who designed the tool recommends 800 grit to sand down the top of this patch so it's flush with the top of the barrel. I don't have 800 grit, I have 1000 grit. So I'm gonna time myself and I'm gonna tell you how long it takes me. So I am very excited about the results of this patch. It took me less than five minutes to sand it down with a thousand grit. According to the instructions, you sand it with the barrel and that's what I did. I sanded it very, very slowly and it is perfectly smooth and even. As a matter of fact, I can take my finger and push it on the top of the patch and I can see it flexing down inside the barrel. So this toolkit works very well. Now I admit, I went very, very slow on all of this. It took me about five hours to make this patch. But I'm telling you, once you get proficient with these tools, I think you could probably knock out a patch on your barrel in less than an hour. So if you're interested in putting an R-hop or flat hopping your airsoft gun, I highly recommend this tool. I'll leave a link down in the description for you. 
I also have another gameplay video right here where I took an AS02 and an AS3, combined them together into what I call an AS2.5. In Europe, it's known as a kneecapper. So thanks for watching, guys, all the way to the end, and I'd really appreciate your feedback if you get this tool. Shrek out.